Good afternoon, East Tennessee. Madison Blevins here with Locked On Balls host Eric Kane. Tennessee football just wrapped up preseason practice number two. And Eric, the looming question around this program is still who is going to be named a starting quarterback? We know that's either Brian Maurer, Harrison Bailey, Hendon Hooker, or Joe Milton. This early on, who is standing out to you? Yeah, so it's funny. Josh Heupel came in, and when he met with us after practice number one, he immediately said that we don't have a starting quarterback yet, <laughs> but that's what everybody wants to know. Uh, early on, the big takeaways for me is the athleticism of some of those two transfers. Hendon Hooker can do a lot with the speed option. Joe Milton physically is built. He's got the strongest arm. He's got the best mechanics from what I can see. It's hard not to notice those two guys out front, but, I mean, Harrison Bailey, I think, has chimed in and really improved a lot of his mechanics in spring practice. So it's way too early, but uh, so far I have liked what I've seen out of Joe Milton and and, uh, and, and Hendon Hooker so far. It's early, but we know this Josh Heupel offense wants to throw the ball down the field. We yeah. know Jalen Hyatt and Bayless Jones Jr. will start at wide receiver, but at three and four, who are those guys that you're watching? Yeah, so many so many guys. Uh, Jimmy Callaway came on and had a really nice spring, maybe the best spring of anybody uh, on campus. Uh, Jimmy Holiday, who was injured, is back, and he's a speed demon. Javonta Payton, the transfer from uh, Mississippi State, he's into the fold, and he's looked good the first two days of camp. you got newcomer Anderson Kobe, Walker Morell, a true freshman. Ramel Keaton, uh, Cedric Tillman, a, a guy that's been here for a couple of years. All those guys, I've mentioned so many names, but they're all getting the same amount of reps right now. And really just whichever one can separate themselves will start getting more of those reps. But I do think the wide receiver position outside of Jalen Hyatt and Bayless Jones Jr., uh, there's going to be a lot of guys that do play because, again, this offense goes so fast, throwing the ball around a lot, and you need to utilize a number of receivers. And with this offense, the time of possession is known to be pretty short. Eric, what limitations does that put on the ball's defense? Oh, I hate it. Being, <laughs> being a former defensive guy, I hate it. Uh, I, I like Josh Heupel. I hate his offense, to be completely <laughs> honest. But um, when it's clicking, it's great because you're scoring, you're picking up first downs, you're moving down the field. Uh, at times when it's not, I mean, you can go a three and out and it can only take maybe a minute off the clock, and that's just not good. So sometimes it puts the defense out there without a lot of rest. It puts the defense in short field positions. But if you're a defender, you just got to rise to that occasion, and they're going to get better and better because of they're going against this offense every single day in practice. It's certainly going to be fun to watch. There's still a lot of looming questions around this program, but that's expected with just two days in fall camp. Tennessee does return to the practice field tomorrow at 9 a.m., so we'll continue to bring you full practice coverage from right here on UT's campus. For Eric Kane, I'm Madison Blevins. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio.